All right. Well, we won't comment on that. No, we won't. <laughs> Let's go to our forecast. No gain there, right? No. <laughs> okay. Lonnie Quinn is standing by with an update um, on some rain that may roll through the yeah, area. Yeah, it's getting close to the area right now. We've had a pretty good-looking day out there, but I do see some rain off to the west. That's the picture right now. So you look out over Central Park. You have a temperature that's coming in at 83 degrees. The sky overhead is mostly sunny. High temp today was... 87 degrees, 5 degrees above the average. You had humidity in place as well. But let's talk about the headlines because here's how I see it. That rain that Christine is talking about, it is approaching. I think maybe the next hour, two hours, it'll be in some of our western suburbs. We're really talking about one unsettled day this week. Could be like one unsettled period, like from tonight into your day tomorrow, because after that, great weather to finish out this week. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Here's your future cast. This is depicting the situation. I like around 7 p.m. So again, some of our western suburbs starting to see a little bit of rain out there. Okay, watch how slowly this moves through the area. By 11:30, it's still basically in the same spot, maybe intensifying a little bit more. But that's your 11:30 picture. Then you watch get into the overnight hours, and now we start to see it in the New York City area, the metro areas there is north of the city as well. That's three o'clock in the morning. Yeah, not going to move. Watch this. This is the picture at two o'clock in the afternoon. I mean, come on, maybe it. Tilted a little bit on the ex, in, on its axis, but it didn't skedaddle out of here. Even by about say 6:30 in the evening, you could be just dealing with some trailing showers as it exits. Why is it taking so long to leave the area? Well, here's the picture: Your vortex satellite and radar right now showing that front approaching. The bigger picture will show you what is at play. Now you can clearly see this low pressure system right here, right? That low pressure system, in essence, kind of pushing this front through our area, but you have this low pressure system offshore, which is not allowing to have it pushed through the area. It's kind of blocking it. So uh, it's like a tug of war out there. And that's why this is going to take very, 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 a very long time to push through the area. It will eventually skedaddle. And then you tap into all of this nice air behind it. Humidity is going to drop pretty nicely by the time you get to Wednesday. It's a good looking picture. Now the picture, is it a good looking picture? Is it not a good looking picture in the tropics? It's more active. I'll tell you that much. Let's talk about it. You have the remnants of Danny. Uh, Okay, this is by the uh, Windward Islands right now. Danny is really a nothing storm currently. All right, the winds are down out of 29, maybe 30 miles per hour. Not a tropical storm. It's not a tropical depression. It's nothing. It's a remnant low. Behind it, though, we have this system. Doesn't have a name yet. It could, however, and if it gets a name, it would be called Erica. So often we see a situation like this in the tropics, we call this a trailer. Okay, and it's just behind. It's like a blocker in football. This is taking all the hits with the with the uh, incoming winds and also with the terrain. This hit could have the possibility to grow. So we're going to watch Erica and see what develops. I'll keep an eye on it for you. Here we go. 87 tomorrow, and that's your unsettled day. 84 on Wednesday, a beauty out there. Lower humidity. 82 on Thursday, good looking. 83 on Friday, good looking. Saturday, Sunday. I mean, come on, it just keeps going right to Monday of next week, and even, dare I say, beyond that. Well, we dare you. I dared you, it. You, you just did, so you I did say it. I know. Yeah. <laughs> nice. it was much of a dare. Thanks, Lonnie. Thank you, Lonnie.